Rachel. Oh, thank you. But I enjoy hanging out with him here. Um, I want to take a shower. I need to take a shower. I need to just refresh myself. And then after that, I'm going to hopefully make some dinner, right? I'm going to make dinner. Um, I believe my husband's going to go to the supermarket and buy himself the meat that he wants because he's the type to not um, like to eat the same kind of meat days in a row and all we have is chicken again. So he's going to get whatever he wants um, for dinner. I'll cook it and then from there um, I'll probably get on the computer and edit a bit. I have to try and get as much done of that as I can before I go back to work because I know I'm not going to have the same amount of time that I would like to you know pay attention to the videos and all of that so that's the next step that's the next thing that i want to do um what else i mean that's pretty much it we usually just chill um i'm probably gonna start a new show with hubby but yeah it's it's a tuesday nothing much going on here wednesdays are our busy days and i'll most likely take you guys along with that not that you would want to see swimming anymore but that's what we do um so yeah we'll see a lion dile hola 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 the bishop okay oh what's up you guys you got me sniffing hola look at my nose a little bit i'm gonna figure out how to scan <gasps> That's not Ola. All right. See you in the next one. Good morning. Um, it's Wednesday. It is day two, New York City's new teacher week. Um, today's considered district day. So what you did was you had a Zoom with your district and that was it, right? So I was like, okay, they're gonna give me all of this information. Let me take the baby over to my mom's. So that I don't have to think about it and it worked out I mean this is my little setup here I have my breakfast shake I have my pumps I have the table that my dog destroyed when she was a puppy I have my breast pump here my book where I take notes my granola bar that I am still in the middle of eating because I'm finally like actually eating something other than my shake and my computer is up on my baby's high chair so here we are um it's been a long morning already right so I just finished the zoom and I have to do some things that they asked me to do I'm gonna do those real quick on the computer and after that I have to go see my mom I'm just waiting for her to text me back um, my grandmother she fell right she had a fall if you have any older family members then you know sometimes they start to uh, have less stabilization you know it can be a little bit more difficult for them to do certain tasks that are easy like getting out of the bed in the morning which is what happened and so my mom took her just because it looked like maybe she was a little swollen um so you know take precautions so nothing crazy but I also know that my mom didn't eat breakfast I knew I did my grandmother and I'm like okay as soon as you figure out whatever you know is she in a room or what and I can come see you I'm gonna bring you guys some food so that's where we're at right now um not really the plan for the day right so we'll see how that goes uh right now my sister has my baby i'm gonna finish this paperwork and we're gonna go from there hi the days have just flown by right <clears throat> we're going to the next day now and i'm finally in my classroom um it's really cute my co-teacher was here yesterday the day before um, and she was sort of starting to organize. You can see what she did. If you know, it's like days work. So tomorrow we're gonna be here together. Um, but today I'm gonna, you know, pretty much tackle these closets. Um, definitely can tell that stuff just sort of by the end of the year got put wherever. Like look at that random jack-o-lantern, I love it. Um, and I don't really blame them because the teacher left and took some of her stuff. So this is the room. I love that all the tables are like this so that we always have a chance to work with the children. Um, our desks are next to each other, so hey, we're about to be best friends. Um, and yeah, it's so cute. So I'm excited. We definitely have 
to figure out how to incorporate the theme. She has a New York theme, which is fine. I love it. Great, right? But um, it's not giving New York right now. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm about to empty this closet. Stay tuned. How it's going so far this all came out of one closet I decided since she leads math her closet closest to her will be all math stuff this one's in the middle of both of us this will be like all the stuff that us teachers use all the time we need pencils post-its all of that and then this one's gonna be all of the reading stuff so you can see that's why i left the books up there um and then i'm gonna organize this because i'm leading ela so we're obviously not done but we're getting there um yeah so all of this has to come out and be moved now so let's just keep going i anticipate staying later than i thought but you know what it's so worth it i haven't come in he's had the school open for like the past week other teachers are in here doing their thing and i haven't because i was taking advantage of being with my baby but now i'm like okay let me get as much done as i can today and i'll be back tomorrow and then after that, it is what it is, right? We're just gonna call it what it is. Um, because next week, I just wanna focus on preparing the actual curriculum, right? Like what we're gonna teach. But I know for sure that if this room doesn't feel comfortable for me, I'm not gonna be able to do it. So that's the goal, organizing everything so that it just makes sense. Because right now, it's not really making sense. And I have, I'm a little OCD, so like I get it, it's not, it's not my co-teacher's fault. So I just had a meeting with my new principal and assistant principal and all the other new teachers and mentors and all of that beautiful stuff. And now I'm back. And I'm back in this room and I almost forgot that I had all this stuff to do. But I'm so happy because I have to go through all of this stuff and I have pretty much the rest of the day. It's 11.30, I'm thinking about leaving around three. That should be a good amount of time. So I'm gonna get as much organizing done today. That's the goal. And tomorrow is straight decorating. So let's see how this goes. It is now 12.30. So I've been down here for about an hour since my meeting finished and I am done with these closets. I'm done, I'm excited. Let me show you how it's looking. So this was that first closet, right? I decided to make this one. I think I told you already. But this one is going to be the ELA. So we have like all the books up there, extra vocabs there, and there's space for extra books. I know there's gonna be extra books, there always is. I have these bins empty right now because I have to bring in my resources, so I'm gonna use that. Here's some more resources, extra space. I'm thinking of putting like a hook here so I could hang my bag there, just cause you know how that is. And then I have to put one here for my jacket. So that will be my ELA closet. Then here, this is everything for teachers, right? So like the papers, the pens, the erasers, everything. I was able to, uh, ooh, I was able to organize it all perfectly. So like, check this out. We even have room, extra space there, extra space there. Um, and the bottom is empty, which is great because I still need to bring in my stuff. Here, we have the math section and on top there's like extra social studies, but I left her a whole empty thing here. These are empty spaces for stuff she may need, but all of her little stuff is there. So we finally have all the math in one place, everything there. These are all the extra bins and stuff and bags that I was able to reduce from in the closet. So I have to move that. Um, let's see. 
And all of this stuff is like holiday Ziplocs, cups, you know, the stuff that you accumulate as a teacher. So I'm gonna organize these better. We also have those bins up there and you can see stuff in the closet. So there's like a lot of organizing that still has to happen. But that is my goal for today, to just make sure all of this stuff here makes sense. So if it means that I have to use one of those for this stuff, that's what I'm gonna do. But it's coming along, I'm super excited. Um, I'm getting there, you know, I feel, I feel better. I can't work in a place that is unorganized. I just can't do it. So spending today doing that and then tomorrow making it pretty and then I'll have some more time next week if we want to add some more stuff. It is what it is. But for right now, this feels good. I'm very, very happy. <sighs> Let's just see how it goes. Whew, so uh, we're moving on now. The rest of the stuff that was on the table were like Ziploc bags and, you know, the cups, the pencils, all that. Sorry, not pencils. <laughs> the forks, the knives, and then tote bags because we always need extra bags. Now, as I'm moving on over here, I'm noticing all the paper towels. Initially, there were like a couple in there and I was like, let me just put them there. But then I saw all of these. So they're gonna stay up there. It is what it is. This is where the kids are gonna put their coats. Now, I came over here and I basically found more stuff that should be in the closet that I just finished organizing over there. So I'm gonna move all of this stuff over there, figure out what it is, probably move stuff into new bins because it doesn't fit in the other bins anymore, but I wanna get it out of here because this is not working for me. So let's do that. I'm just trying to catch my breath. Um, let's see, what time is it? <clears throat> 1.53. So I've made the decision, I've been thinking about it and I have to just make an executive decision here. I'm going to, I didn't bring all of my stuff from my house. I have four bins. They're like, they're small bins. They're not big bins and stuff. But you're a teacher, you accumulate stuff. So I do have four bins of things. Um, as I was cleaning and organizing, I was like, where can I put these things? And I've been thinking about it because they're my teaching things. Like I need them here. I don't need them at home. So, excuse me, I'm trying. Um, so I didn't bring those today though because I didn't know what the room looked like. I didn't know the conditions of the room. Happy I didn't bring it because they would have just been a pile and I couldn't do anything with them and it would have bothered me knowing that they were just sitting there. So what I did do is in the closet behind me on the floor there, I do have it empty so that I could put the two bins with stuff that I'm going to touch a lot there. Now, when it comes to other stuff, I do have two bins that are like holiday bins. I'm going to try to put them up there with these other bins. I have to organize those bins too because you can see some of them have like just, they're empty. They have nothing in them. So I'll put the other two there. They're not big, so they'll take up probably like the section of just one. <sighs> so I didn't bring that today. The reason I'm out of breath though is because I did bring a couple of things. I brought these two bags here of my like resources that I use all the time, my bin of my pens and markers, and I have another box over there with like all my little like teacher things that I've collected and have been gifted to me that I'm gonna set up my desk with. Now, with that, I do have another bin in the car, and I'm so out of breath because I'm still learning the building and where I parked was right around the corner, but <laughs> to bring all that stuff over here is crazy. So I'm even trying to figure out how I'm gonna do the bins tomorrow. I do have like a rolling cart, but I don't know what good that's gonna be for me, honestly. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I do that. I'm gonna see. Maybe I just gotta carry them one by one. It's gonna be so annoying, but I'm gonna have to do it. I'll probably get my co-teacher to help me because that's crazy. But um, other than that, I'm pretty much almost done for the day. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna start doing what we teachers do, get on the computer and try to make different things that I could print out to have for finishing decorating this room. I really wanna go with that um, theme that she has of New York. I wanna push it. And so the only way for me to do that is if I go home and start making stuff and creating stuff and all of that, so. We shall see how this goes. For now, let me organize this stuff and then we'll go from there. All right, 
So I finished setting up my section here. You see I have all my little goodies here, the little book that they gave me. And I started measuring all of the different boards because I'm noticing there's no borders on it. And like I said earlier, I really, really, really want to work with this New York theme that they have. And I just finally looking and thinking about it, I got inspired on what we're actually gonna do in this room um, and how I can help to sort of make it better. And I think as the year goes on, like we'll add more stuff, but for now, this is stuff that I definitely want to do and I'm going to make it happen. I, you know, I never apologize for the noise in the background, by the way. That's the air conditioner. But with all this movement, I'm just sweating so much. Um, I know, too, too much information. But uh, tomorrow I'm going to come more comfortable. Today I had that meeting with the principal and the assistant principals. And so I just really wanted to, you know, be a little professional. I do have jeans and a little shirt on. So, I mean, nothing crazy. But... Uh, tomorrow I'm definitely more comfortable because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to go home and play with Canva and try to make up borders and letters and stuff like that for the room and hopefully print it out today. Probably not. More than likely I'll be printing it out tomorrow morning. Come in here, cut it all out with my co and have her help me out with that but i was immediately inspired i'm super excited now because it's like i know what i have in my mind i know what i want to do and i'm gonna make it happen so let me go home for that uh we do have a meeting with like all the parents tonight on zoom so i have to do that more than likely i'll be on the zoom and doing other stuff in the background because you know that's how we gotta do it so i'm gonna go home i'll probably make a stop and get something to eat because i have not eaten and then, yeah, I'm done for the day. This is pretty much it. Closets are organized. My things are set up here. I'm super excited. I'm, I'm getting excited because first I heard a New York theme and I was like, what is that gonna be like? And now I'm like, I have ideas. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next clip. All righty, it is now the next day. I'm not really sure where we left off. I think I was leaving work yesterday but when I left yesterday I left it all organized and ready to go for today me decorating and I had some ideas so when I went home yesterday um, I spoke with my co-teacher and she didn't have any like of those little touches um, but I went home to make those touches and I did on Canva I printed them all out they're right here in my bag um, and we're gonna work on that now so now it's like the whole seizure part of cutting things out, laminating them, all of that good, beautiful stuff. So I'm going to do that first. That way the room is done and ready to go. After that is when I'm going to sort of start to see actual planning and like curriculum and stuff. Because I don't know about you guys, but I can't work until it's like everything's organized, everything's clean. And that's why I did those closets. And... I know my co-teacher's probably gonna think I'm a little bit crazy because I really like took everything out, wiped everything down with wipes, oh, which is the only thing that I forgot today. I needed more wipes. But we're gonna make it work with some paper towels and spray, right? Just like we used to. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I parked right in front of the school. I feel like unless I was right at the door, I wouldn't be satisfied. But I'm, I'm in front of the school, it's right there because i have to bring in my bins today today was the day that i bring in my bins and i emptied out my hallway with all of those school things so i'm excited for that part but here we are um so yeah so i'm back in my classroom um it's like 12 o'clock now i haven't really updated you guys i'm so sorry but i met my co-teacher in person now i, I zoomed with her um we talked on the phone but like now we met each other in person and we basically were just talking the whole time she just left which is fine she was here earlier in the week when i was not here but we were able to get an idea of what we liked what we wanted to do what we believe are the best teaching methods how we would like to teach things we talk it all out now which is great because when we see each other again next week um, we're off Monday for Labor Day, but Tuesday when we see each other 
we'll at least be on the same page already because more than likely we're going to meet with the other teachers in our grade band as well. We also talked about how else we would like to decorate the classroom. We're super excited. Um, she was just very forthcoming with me when she was explaining, you know, like, yeah, it's a New York theme. We don't have that many decorations other than what I've seen here because they invested a lot of money already in rugs. If you're a teacher, you know how much carpets are. It's ridiculous. And so I was like, okay, you know, we're gonna work with what we got. We have to be DIYers here, you know? And so that's exactly what I did. I told you guys that I went home and I sort of got on Canva and I was working all that out um, to see how I could incorporate it, right? And then I went to go print them. I printed them double-sided without realizing that I did. So I'm very mad now about that. But at least I got these strips done. These are the little borders that I made. I was able to sort of make it, um, you know, with the taxi cab and it looks so cute already. It's already starting to tie in the theme, so I'm super excited about that. I still have a lot more to go. Like, I have a lot of work to do. And so I'm hoping to get all these things done today. I don't know, I, I don't know. We'll see, cross your fingers that it happens. Right now I have two bulletin boards done, which is exciting. Um, I have this one left behind me. I'm not really gonna stress about it because it's not that serious, but I have to do it, you know? Um, and then after that, I'm gonna try to print these letters out, laminate them, cut them out, put them up before I go get my stuff from my car. That I definitely have to do today. That I know is gonna take a toll on me. I'm gonna sweat it out, but I gotta do this. This is the stressful part about it all. You know, I said I wanted to finish by next week. We'll see. Unfortunately, I left myself with lots and lots of work to do for today. So, once again, let's see how that goes. Um, I am still waiting for some stuff from my uncle and now I know I can order some stuff too so I might do that for the classroom. I do know for certain that I don't want to get too much of that stuff. Um, like as the year goes on there's going to be stuff that we need so I want to get that then but just looking at the way it's already coming out with these things that I didn't have to pay a penny for. I'm super excited about that. Um, I guess I'm, I'm just gonna wait until I see everything else, you know, that comes in, and then we'll go from there.